what is current ratio current asset divided by current liability debt equity ratio long term debt divided by shareholder span we can the current liabilities are credit or is a current liability bp provision for taxation 1 lakh 75000 Hello my dear students I am Dr B S Subramanya called by name Dr B S S professor in commerce and management with the Ashram First Aid College a temple of excellence Mysore today in this session I am going to hand management accounting sixth semester unit 3 session 1 in favor of ratio analysis this is one of the important chapter as bcom is concerned from the examination of point of view and other things are car we are comparing we are comparing one ratio to another ratio assume that what is the gross profit ratio what is the net profit ratio what is current ratio what is debt to equity ratio what is proprietary ratio what is working capital ratio all the ratios we are comparing to see that the position of the concern ratio say the stability of the concern whatever the ratio you got depends upon the stability of the concern we'll move on to problem now this is the problem they have given if we see that which are the current assets are which are the fixed assets are building is a fixed asset pm and means plant and machinery is a fixed asset furniture is a fixed asset investment come under investment stock is a current asset br is a current asset cash in hand is current asset preliminary expense should not be taken equity share capital general reserve if you add no only or called this fund belongs to equity shareholder dividend equalization reserve this also belongs to equity shareholder debenture and long term loan this is a debt credit or outside liability provision for taxation is a current liability profit and loss account of the last year and current year totally 8 lakh 80000 now what are the things they ask calculate current ratio liquid ratio net working capital ratio fixed asset to net worth ratio debt equity ratio return on capital employed proprietary ratio return on equity we'll move on to one by one current ratio what is current ratio current asset divided by current liability what is current ratio current asset divided by current liability which are the current assets are stock is a current asset br is a current asset cash in hand is a current asset total it will come 277500 which are the current liabilities are credit or is a current liability bp provision for taxation 175000 first you have to make the working out now like which are the current assets are stock br and cash which are the current liabilities are credit or bp provision for taxation apply current ratio is equal to current asset divided by current liability 2 lakh 775 divided by 1 lakh 1.59 is to 1 if the asset is 1.59 liability is 1 1 rupees 60 paisa is to 1 then come back to liquid asset what is liquid asset total current asset minus stock minus prepaid expenses i will repeat what is a liquid asset current asset minus stock minus prepaid expenses what is a current asset 2 lakh 77500 minus stock is 1 lakh 50000 there is no prepaid asset so your liquid asset is 1 lakh 27500 then what is liquid liability is no current liability minus bank overdraft here there is no bank overdraft is there 1 lakh 75000 formula liquid ratio is equal to liquid asset divided by current liability so 1 lakh somebody some author says liquid ratio is equal to liquid asset divided by liquid liability also except bank od 1 lakh 27500 divided by 1 lakh 75 it comes to 0.73 is to 1 if the liquid asset is 0.73 your liquid liability is 1 then liquid asset means total current asset main stock minus prepaid so net working capital current asset minus current liability what is your current asset 2 lakh 77500 your current liability is 1 lakh 75 it comes to 1 lakh 
2500 apply networking capital here current asset minus current liability yeah what's the question ask what is networking capital yes not the ratio then fixer set to network network ratio fixer asset which are the fixer assets are land and building plant and machinery furniture these are all the fixer asset then shareholders fund equity share capital general reserve dividend equalization reserve profit of the previous year profit of the current year if we add all these things it becomes 6 lakh 5000 what are the fixed assets are building machinery furniture shareholders fund equity share capital general reserve dividend equalization reserve profit of the previous year profit of the current year that will be shareholders fund apply fixed asset to net worth ratio fixed asset fixed asset divided by shareholders fund 4 lakh 3700 divided by 6 lakh 5000 it works of 0.72 times then debt equity ratio long term debt divided by shareholders fund you already done shareholders fund is there long term debt come back here if you add this it is 1 lakh Apply now one lakh divided six lakh five thousand. It will come to zero point one four is to one. If this fixer is net worth ratio is there, no. If they want the ratio, then point seven two is to one. Then it is zero point one four is to one. Then return on capital implied, net profit divided by capital implied. So your net profit is see that current year one lakh. Divided by capital implied is seven lakh five thousand. Capital implied is equal to total asset minus current liability. Eight lakh eighty-eight thousand minus one lakh seventy-five seven lakh five thousand. Zero point one four is to one. What is proprietary ratio? Formula you have to remember properly. Shareholders fund divided by total asset. Shareholders fund you already done six lakh five thousand. Your total asset is eight lakh eighty thousand. It is zero point six nine is to one. Return on equity, net profit after tax minus preference divided divided by equity share. Your net profit is one lakh divided by equity share capital three lakh. It is point three four is to one. Hope you understand. So here three lakh is there. What are the ratio they ask? Current ratio means current asset divided by current liability. What is the liquid ratio? Liquid asset divided by liquid liability. Networking capital. What's working capital? Current asset minus current liability. Fixer asset to net worth. Here yeah, net worth. Now you have to work out all these things. Net worth means shareholders fund. She equity share capital. General reserve. Dividend equalization reserve. Profit of the previous year. Profit of the current year. Totally six lakh five thousand. Apply. Fixer asset divided by shareholders fund. Then debt equity ratio, long term debt divided by shareholders fund long term debt eighty thousand plus twenty thousand. They are in the ratio of zero point one four is to one. Then return on capital implied, net profit divided by capital implied. So one lakh divided by seven lakh five thousand zero point one four is to one. Capital implied total asset minus current liability eight lakh eighty eight thousand minus one lakh seventy five thousand. It becomes seven lakh five thousand. Proprietary ratio, shareholders fund divided by total. You already done shareholders fund. What are the things belongs to shareholder divided by total asset? Zero point six nine is to one. Return on equity, net profit after tax divided only equity share capital. Only on equity. What's your equity share capital? Don't add any reserve is there. Three lakh one lakh divided. They are in the ratio of. They are in the ratio of three point three four is to one. Hope understand. I think I have followed all the ratios here. So you have to follow this type of question will be asked from the examination of point of view. If you have got any doubt, I will have another session. We can have it. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next session.